Musical Quotient, a very musical face-off. Hello and welcome to Teamwork Arts' Jazz India Circuit. This is a brand new initiative uh, that we are starting and uh, this we are so lovingly calling uh, the Musical Quotient. A very musical face-off. The whole idea is uh, to bring old school music knowledge and a whole lot of fun together. And uh, kicking things off, uh, a man who has been around um, for a really long time playing guitar melodies that have uh, made us half close our eyes and dream. And now, of course, uh, he's living a dream in Goa as an educator. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, from Goa Jazz Collective, ladies and gentlemen, Karan Khosla. Hi, well, thanks for having me, guys. Uh, unfortunately, social distancing, Karan. So I'm the only one who's going to be giving you the claps. So That's I hope shame, man. Uh, we'll, we'll make we'll make up for it with some hugs. Yes, yes, up. yes, absolutely. <laughs> but um, uh, you know, uh, first of course, uh, you play jazz guitar and uh, you sort of uh, you know work the scene, uh, making audiences swoon. And then you decide that you want to sh shift to Goa, where you want to teach the guitar. It's like I went to sleep and had a pleasant dream, but you're the one who's living that dream. How does that feel? It's great. Um, I mean, I think the school was like a natural progression here. You know, I mean, I. When I came here two years ago, I was just playing the circuit. I did all the cruise lines. I did all the pop gigs. You know, I really got into the whole scene. But um, I realized, I mean, there was a, a place here to set up something where I think I could add a little bit of value, I think. But also, I, you know, the school is a place where a lot of musicians come through. And mm -hmm. actually, I get to learn a lot. You know, I think this was one of those things where I feel like right now I am in a phase where I really need to work on my own stuff. And, you know, I have a teacher myself after a while and um, I've just learned so much by setting this up. Right. I mean, on the one hand, it's a it's a business, but it's also a place where I think we can create a good. We can hopefully create musicians, right, who have a, a nice outlook in life who are able to go out and learn new things and get opportunities. And uh, when all this is over, I hope we get them all back through the door. <laughs> <laughs> That's important. Uh, so today, Karan, yes. we have decided to test you. Wait, I'm going to okay. clean my specs. All right. And I've got my questions ready. Okay. The first round is called the rapid fire round. Are you are you feeling the blood coursing through your veins already, Karan? Or should I hype it up a little more? Absolutely, man. Just don't, uh, just go for it. I mean, I'm, uh, like I said, fake it till you make it, right? Yeah. So basically, <laughs> there'll be five questions okay. or maybe three, depending on what I feel. Okay. It's all on a thousand points. You could win a thousand points every time you give us a right answer. A thousand points, no less. And what will happen is you get 10 seconds to answer. So okay. the question is... Is Karan Khosla? Yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready, man. All righty then. It is time for our round one rapid fire. All right, let's do it. The first question: You have to tell me what, and you have ten seconds for this. What is the difference between the major scale and the minor scale? The clock is ticking. Well, if it's a natural minor, then the real difference is between some of the intervals, right? So the difference between a minor and a major is essentially a flat third, a flat six, and a flat seven interval. So if I show you on the guitar, basically you have a little shape. You have to just move certain fingers down a single fret or a step on the piano and you get... That's it. You are that's a worthy teacher. Nat natural minor. Had it been uh, had it been up to me, I would have given you uh, at least seven thousand eight hundred and ninety four points. But since this is only thousand points, you get first thousand points, and also as a bonus, you can win another thousand points if you play a composition in both the minor and major scales in thirty seconds. Are okay. you ready for it? Okay. Time starts now. Oh wait. Whatever. I mean, 
ha ah, good good it's a good start are you feeling uh, are you feeling uh, comfortable now excited yes sure sure but uh, did you want me to make something up or play something <laughs> <laughs> you are being clever now i think this cockiness shows that you have given us the right answers and you have won yourself the first 1000 points but there are more questions second question you have to tell me what is the difference between the diminished and the augmented Okay, so a diminished triad basically, like I said, if you have a major triad which is root third and fifth, a diminished would you would uh, the flat third you basically move it down one step, so you get something like this, and the fifth you also move down one step. So let me give you the difference between major for both of those. Okay, so the major is something that you use a reference point. Diminished would be root flat third flat five. Okay, and then augmented would be root third sharp five. So all of that in relation to that's something that everybody knows. Root third fifth. Okay, so do me sol. Does that make sense? <laughs> yes. And now those thirty seconds for you to win those thousand points. Play me a composition in uh, diminished and augmented. Uh, okay. So uh, all right. So. Okay. I split something. Hmm. Hmm. So that's two thousand points for you. And now our final question: You have to tell me which one do you like better, blues or jazz? Oh goodness! Uh, Ten yeah. seconds. It's blues. It's still ticking. Always blues, man. And why? Well, man, the blues is the harder jazz. I mean, that's what it is. <laughs> blues is the harder jazz. Now that can certainly be used for our promo. <laughs> yeah. Now you have to to win these thousand points. You have to play us a little bit of jazz as well. All right. Okay. Take that again? <laughs> no, it is rapid fire. We have to do everything rapidly. And I would have, of course, loved to have given you sixteen thousand points. But since you've got all three of these questions right, you get yourself three thousand points. All right, all right, cool, cool, cool. Thank you. <laughs> are you are you feeling good? Are you feeling good? Absolutely, man. Let's do Excellent. This. Then it is now time, Karan Khosla. To go for our round two, All right, which we have uh, very cryptically called. Uh, just tell me if you get what round two is by its name. Okay, it's a very cryptic name. We are calling it. Tell us your favorite covers round. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think you're talking about uh, what type of covers, like bed covers, bed sheets, uh, music. I uh, thought okay. my joke was bad, but you've talked me. <laughs> I take back all of your three thousand points. You are back at zero. Oh, <laughs> and, shit, dude. Yeah, the only oh, redemption God. now is for you to tell me why, what your uh, favorite favorite covers uh, are. Three. You have to tell me three of the favorite covers that you've done of popular songs. Of popular songs. Yeah. Uh, can they be uh, rock pop, blues pop, uh, pop pop, or any of those? they can actually be anything that you want as long as they are popular songs but there is a catch because you've lost the 3000 points we are going to give you an opportunity to reclaim those 3000 points by making the right kind of faces while playing the covers okay. so like you're playing for example if you're playing a joe satriani cover you'll have to do the okay and if you do that i will judge you on your playing skills and your facial skills 
So are you ready to take the test then, Karan Khosla? Well, I don't remember so many of my covers, but let's try. Let's try it. Okay, cover <laughs> number one. What are you going to play us? Uh, I'll just play... I'll try and, I'm trying to remember all my favorite tunes. I think my favorite tune of all time would be uh, George Harrison's uh, While My Guitar Gently Weeps. Play it for us and uh, make the face. Don't forget to make the face. Eight hundred points for the face and two hundred points for the playing. Okay, that's my. <laughs> you have you have passed this one with flying colors. Second cover. What are you going to play for us? Second. Uh, all right. I'll play a tune. Um, I think another one that was important to me. Um, you try and figure it out. Okay. Okay. I, I think. I, let me try and play the drift. One second. It's um. So I remember of it. You remember the, what that was? The, yeah. <laughs> Metallica playing out of that Gibson guitar, man. <laughs> that, that to me, but, you know, for your playing, I will give you 750 points. But since you forgot to make the face, I'm going to take away 700 of those points. So you're going to get 50 points out of 1,000. And of course, those 50 points I'm going to take because, hey, I guessed the song, man. You the did. Point. You so, did. So, so yeah, you get zero chance final chance to win back those 1000 points you have to play me your third and last cover remember to make the face otherwise the thousand points go what are you going to play for us um oh god what do i play for you should i play you uh, a standard or something let me play something else i'll play you another important tune for me okay preloader okay so uh, i see <laughs> That's a part of it, right? So, and, and and what tune was that, Karan Kosla? Freddie, what well, is the first part of Freddie Freeloader by Miles Davis? And why is it important to you, Karan Kosla? I think that was the song that really kind of got me to like really understand jazz phrasing. There's this first uh, piano solo by Winton Kelly in there, and it's I still remember. It's like. <laughs> Something like that. And it's just amazing, man. I mean, it really kind of got me to understand like the idea of that jazz blues, that major blues sound. And it was just so cool. So, and where, where did Metallica come into this current? Uh, Metallica was really the first, I mean, that, that was that band that I first like learned riffs from. Okay. You know, I mean, I was in all these, um, in the early, like I'd say about 94 to 98 was a big musical part like journey for me. It was in all these metal bands and rock bands that really kind of uh, played a lot of this stuff. And I think that was really an important phase for me. So tell me, which was the first song that you ever played on the guitar? Do you remember that? Uh, oh yeah, of course I do. Um, I've forgotten. Oh yes, but everybody played it, right? It was Stairway to Heaven. Uh, can't forget that part. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was the first thing yeah, I ever yeah. learned. Absolutely. Right? So, yeah. uh, and the face, you had the page face, man. You I had, had the, the page. page face. Yeah. yeah. 
that was a long song i don't think i i think i think every time i played it with anybody i never played it uh, completely i mean or at least properly but and yeah. the last probing question of this round which was the hardest ever song for you to have learned on the guitar well, i'm certainly not playing it <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you can try. It's for a thousand points, after all, man. Come on. Oh man, I don't know. It's uh, there's a whole bunch of like Pat Martino solos and things that I've been working on that are just kind of hard to play. I'm gonna, I'll, 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 I'll acquiesce these a thousand points. <laughs> <laughs> But since you've been so uh, sporting, and of course for that classic page face uh, in that classic solo for uh, Stairway to Heaven. I would have loved giving giving you uh, one million and six thousand points, but since I have only three thousand points to give, I give you back those three thousand points, Karan Gosla. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Please tell us your feelings. I'm I'm good. I'm a little. I, I was a little uh, a little anxious because I somehow wanted to get all these points, but I guess I'm doing. I was doing okay. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think we can we can we can say you're doing okay, and uh, uh, of course now. to round 3 ooh okay. which is uh, again very cryptically titled your favorite five songs okay now my favorite five strong songs strong so basically let me explain to you what we are trying to do here we are trying to see if you can build a playlist for us so we go we call it current's playlist we are going to put it up so that other people can uh, enjoy the music that you have enjoyed as well but because i have to make the i because i'm the I'm the quiz master. I'm going to okay. call it your five favorites. So, what okay. are those? All right. So, shall I go? I'll go chronologically. Okay. okay. Uh, definitely, George Harrison's "While My Guitar Gently Weeps." Wow. Okay. That's a pretty personal song for you, is it? I love that song. I don't know. It's just always. I should learn it better, but uh, I, I certainly, I certainly, I think that that melody is just incredible. I mean, it copies the vocal melody line so well. and it's just throughout the song it just never gets old i think that song just gets better every time you hear it i don't know it's just it's amazing uh what would be next i think um joe satriani was a big influence growing up you know in the like early 90s when i really got into the guitar you know about 92 93 and i there was this one album which came out um it's called strange beautiful music and oh yes uh uh his sort of his uh, version of starry nights I think is just mind blowing. That whole album, any song for the album would be include, including strange beautiful music. Of course. Um I think the next big uh I would say um kind of blue Miles Davis would definitely oh. be one of my favorite albums. Wes Montgomery's Boss Guitar. That's four. And uh I mean Wes is a big big part of my influence. I think I really just thought he was I mean you know he was he was just this guy who was just a boss man i mean he played the, you know nothing was uh he had simple ideas but he could just take them everywhere right and uh then finally i would say brad meldhaus or meldhaus uh ooh ode ode oh that's a really oh that's a personally yeah. incredible wow. song so wow and uh, you have of course uh, done well so far in this round but <laughs> to really win those 3000 points that we're going to give for you to you this round you'll have to play us one of those uh, of your five favorites what are you going to play for us i'll play you a west tune okay what's right. it called it says you it's an old tune i mean it's been one of my favorite tunes i uh, actually had uh i played it a lot over the last few years but it's always something that i sort of come back to so let's try it right go oh. I can't hear myself but you can right I can yes
least 75 million points for just playing that one. It's beautifully done. And of course, uh, 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 in our game show, considering that you're the only participant, congratulations <laughs> on winning with 6,000 points, Karan Khosla. Six is better than zero, man. So I'll take it. <laughs> Thank you very much for doing this. Thank you very much for being the first ever participant on the musical quotient, a very musical face-off. It was so wonderful facing off against your talent and just being blown away uh, with your craft, man. It's absolutely wonderful, Karan. Um, before we go, of course, there's, uh, there's something very interesting that you're doing uh, down there in Goa. You want to tell us a little about that? Yeah, sure. Um, you know, we've started a lot of, um, we, we, we do a lot of scholarship programs for jazz ensemble training and that's been going really well. But we've also launched um, a lot of basic uh, training and improvisation on YouTube and on Insta and on all these, on IGTV. So do check them out on just Goa Jazz Academy, um, at Goa Jazz Academy, either on Facebook or Instagram and take a look and write into us. And uh, if, you know, we can help you in any way, we'd love to. So the idea is to make all of this really accessible and um, available for everyone. And you've shown us that uh, you are an excellent teacher. So yes, uh, <laughs> highly, highly recommend that you check out Goa Jazz Academy and, uh, and check out Karan Khosla's phenomenal talent. Thank okay. you very much for this, Karan. And uh, stay safe, stay healthy. I will see you soon, okay? Thanks, Satak. Thanks, Avik. Thanks, Jatin. Pinky. Bye, guys. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was episode one of the Musical Quotient, a very musical face-off. You have anything to say to us? Please remember, Jazz in Your Circuit is the initiative uh, under which this is uh, being done by Teamwork Arts, of course. And, uh, and yeah, any questions, anything at all, uh, please feel free. Just search Jazz in Your Circuit and you will find us. So, till we uh, see you again, Sarthar, out. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Karan.